Okay, so in this video, we're going to go over four examples. Here's two of them. And how you can tell whether lines are parallel or perpendicular, okay, by, by using their forms and then noticing if they fit the characteristics of parallel lines or perpendicular lines. Now, let, let's go over a couple of things first before we get there. The symbol for parallel lines is just this two little lines right next to one another. Sometimes you see them as a slight tilt, but normally they're like this. The symbol for perpendicular lines is this. It looks like an upside down T. Okay, so if you see these things in your uh, book or online or something, that's exactly what they mean, right? Parallel lines, perpendicular lines. Now the thing to know about parallel lines is that the slope is the same for both lines. Right? So if you can figure out what the slope is on lines, you can figure out whether they're parallel or not for both lines. For perpendicular lines, the test that you want is that the slopes are negative reciprocals. Negative. Let me just write that in there so I don't get off the negative reciprocals of one another. Another. Okay? So, for example, if the slope of one line is 2, the negative reciprocal would be a negative 1 over 2. And that's how you can tell whether these two lines would be or, or, uh, perpendicular to one another. If they just simply don't have this, if they don't fit either one of these, these lines are just crossing at one point, okay? So with that in mind, let's go ahead and just check these four examples out and see what we can find out. So the question is, are these two lines parallel, perpendicular, or do they simply just intersect, okay? So again, we know that if we can look at the slope, in this top one, the slope for this equation is just 2 because this equation is in the form of slope-intercept, right? y is equal to mx plus b. The m here in number 1 would be a slope of 2. Now in this form, this is called the standard form, and the standard form is where both uh, the x and the y are on one side of the equation and then the number is on the other side of the equation. Now the slope for a standard form, okay, looks like this. So ax plus by is equal to c, and you see that this 2x plus y equals 5 follows that form exactly. The slope for this kind of an equation is a negative, and then in parentheses, whatever the a coefficient is over whatever the B coefficient is. In this case it would be a negative, 2 is a coefficient, 1 is the coefficient, so the slope would be a negative 2. So are these two slopes exactly the same? And they're not because one's negative, one's positive. You would say therefore that these two equations just intersect. You can also go ahead and graph them and you could see the same thing. Okay, let's move to the next problem. Again, we've noticed two things here. In the second, or in the first equation, again, we have the standard form, right? Ax plus by equals c. And again, if I just line these up, I see that my a is 1, my b is 2. So. In this form, the slope would be equal to a negative a over b, which would just be a negative 1 over 2. But when I look up here, I see that for the second equation, the slope is just simply 2. So what is going on with these two? These would be negative reciprocals, just like we did up here, of one another. These lines are perpendicular. Okay, let's move on to the other two examples that I have for you. Now in this 
example here to the left. This is in a form of the equation called the uh, point-slope form. In the point-slope form, we'll call this right here, the point-slope form looks like this. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. And you'll see that this equation follows that form exactly, right? and I can just say minus a negative one. That would be the same thing as saying plus. So the slope in this equation is just three. The slope in this equation is just three, because again, this is y is equal to mx plus b. So if we have the slope is three in the top one, the slope is three in the bottom one, we'd say these lines are parallel lines. Okay? Finally, let's just do this last one. These are again in the standard form and in the slope-intercept form. We know that in this one, the slope is equal to a negative one-third. But what about this top one? In standard form, remember, negative three x minus y is equal to six. Ax plus b equals, x plus by is equal to c. The a here would be negative three. The b, now again, make this add the opposite. Be a negative one, wouldn't it? All right, don't be tricked by that. So if, so if that's a minus, you got to make a match up exactly. So therefore, the slope for this one would be a negative, negative three over a negative one. That would make that positive over a negative or a negative three. Are these two slopes negative reciprocals of one another, and they're not? Okay, because they're both negative. Therefore, these lines just intersect. Okay, I hope that explanation was helpful.